this is Jillery Hoops and I'm gonna give you a tutorial on a move that I haven't really seen a lot of people do but that doesn't mean that I made it up I'm not trying to claim it I don't know what it's called uh, if you have any comments on what we should call this go ahead and leave them in the comments and I can update the title so here we go it's a two hoop move you start with both of your hoops in hand notice holding them on the outside regular grip pretty firm grip I'm gonna hold them out to my left side I'm going to drop my right arm down and my left arm up. So they're basically just scissoring. And I'm going to not flip my hoops at all. And they're going to meet on the other side. My hands are now inside the hoops. And my thumbs are pointing down. I don't know if you can see those thumbs. If you continue through and turn your body, you can do this continuously and you can do it the other direction. So I want to start with just my right hand in this hoop. If I bring this hoop over my head to the other side of my body, my thumb is now pointing down. I haven't flipped the hoop. I'm not doing Z-spins. Sort of a big rainbow over the top. And if you turn your body to the right with the hoop in your left hand, you can make a full circle with that. That's all we're doing here, but we're doing it with two hoops. Now my body's going to turn in the same direction. If I take my right hand hoop, drop it down, and rotate so it's out to the right, thumb is down, and pull it all the way overhead and back over to the first side again. Again, this hoop is not twisting or z-spinning in any way. So you put those two together, and that's all with, I'm facing left from my audience, you gracious people being my audience. Facing left, my body is gonna to turn to the right as I do this, continuously. And I turn to the right when my left hand goes up. So, left hand up, right hand down, torso turns to the right, no flipping of hoops. When they meet on the other side, my thumbs are down. I continue through over top and I'm back to normal. So when the left hoop goes up, your body's turning right all the way through. When your right hand goes up, your body's going to turn left instead. This is the reverse. So both hands out, right hoop up and left hand down forces my body to straighten out and face away from the audience. And when I continue through to the uncomfortable part and get past it, I'm back the other direction, facing my left. I can do this on the right. If my left hand goes up, my torso is going to turn to the right to get through that full circle. If my right hand goes up, I'm going to be turning my body left to get through this circle. So starting position straight up with your hoops, hoops in hand. I'll actually do this sideways for you. So I'll start here. Hoops out, arms go up and down, other side, up and back. Hopefully you can see that my hoops are not twisting or rotating in any way. Now I'll do it from the other direction. It is hard to keep your hoops in plane when your thumbs are down, but you just got to push past that discomfort and you'll be back to a comfortable hand position again. Now I'll show you with my back to you. You can give it a little pop when they hit the same spot. So you can go and pop, 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 pop. And you really want to line them up. A transition move for this could be windmill and to the left and then into this. And then back into windmill. Um, 
certainly there's lots of transition moves you can move in and out of this with. But the key points is you start with your thumbs up, you scissor your arms, you will know if you're turning your torso the wrong direction because you won't be able to complete the circle. So you have to turn your torso to allow that full body turn while keeping the hoops in plane. There you have it. Have fun. All right. Happy hooping. And if you think of a name for this one, let me know and I'll update the video. Happy hooping.